Hey, Katie here, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Hey, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm losing motivation to do anything today. Um, I pretty much took a rest day yesterday, right? Uh, so today I want to be a full productivity day. However, I've been up since I think 12-ish. It's 3.30 now. And I've done basically nothing, except, like, I've done a little bit of makeup. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. The lips have worn off. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling the fall vibes. It's 72 degrees outside, and I am pumped. Tomorrow's supposed to be, like, 80, though, so... <laughs> Gross. But, like, okay, so I, I talk about this quite frequently on my channel. Not a lot, but a lot, where for, to keep myself from burning out and stuff, I have four types of days that I follow in terms of productivity. So I have the full productivity day where it's go, 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 get everything done on the list that I can, right? If I don't make the list, that's fine, but as long as I'm getting stuff done, it boosts my enthusiasm for life or something, you know? <laughs> My positivity goes up, my, uh, what's the word? I don't know. Okay, so we have the full productivity day. We have the half productivity day where I get as much on the list done as possible, but, like, I make sure I rest, right? And then I have the half rest day where it's, I just make a list, I get what I can done, done, but the focus is more on rest than on getting things done. And then I have the full rest day, right? And that's where I have an idea of what I want to get done, and I'll do them if I want to do them, but like, it's a me day. Like, it's a, I got a chill day to do whatever I want. And typically, it's self-care, and not like chores and stuff but I'm thinking about adding on a fifth day that's just like schoolwork day which I guess technically could fall under a full productivity day but it's not focused on everything in life it's focused on like getting schoolwork done studying uh rough drafts editing papers things like that um and I think that's kind of what I want today but I do have a few things I want to get done. I've got about 11 hours, 12 hours before I have to go to bed. Uh, so if I split my day up into fours, that's four hours each for four categories. So I can study for this many hours. Uh, what is that? 12. Wait, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So 3 hours each. So 3 hours sociology, 3 hours psychology, and 3 hours on my literature, which isn't going to happen, I don't think. Although I can work ahead on papers. And then I could do 3 hours of what I need to get done around the house. So that's like... My daily chores, my daily chores are the floors, the counters, and the dishes, right? And then I need to edit. That's another daily chore, technically. It's another daily thing that I want to get in the habit of, of just editing daily things. <laughs> um, mm, but anyways, to up my motivation, I think I'm going to go to campus and study there today. At least for like five to six hours. But Dog wants to go on a WALK. I want to take him on a WALK. And I'm like, I don't know about this outfit going to campus or not. It's cute. I need to clean my mirror. Oh my gosh, it is. The mirror is mirroring. <laughs> 
I don't know what that means. <laughs> but, like, I'm so comfy cozy in this. Like, <sighs> it's a good outfit. But it's like, is ostentatious the word? It's very loud. It's a loud outfit. Very, a lot of orange. And though these oranges, they match less on camera. But they definitely don't match in on camera. They match a little bit more in person. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Um, ugh, I don't know. I really should take my dog on the WLK, except I, I feel like it's going to be mm, a lot. Also, can we talk about how I'm pretty sure he knows what a WALK is? Look at that head cock. Look at it. WALK. Oh, he had an ear twitch in that one. He knows. He knows what it means. <sighs> what a cutie patootie this man is. Little buddy. Oh, can we also talk about how I watched a video last night and they're like, yeah, dogs have 10 to 15 years on average, but like the longest one that lived was 30 years old. But like my dog is seven years old and you guys I don't even want to think about it. Like, uh, <laughs> uh. You're old, Jelly. He still acts like he's a, a, a teenager. So much energy. Oh. I need to make my bed. <laughs> Anyways. um, I'm going to edit, I think. I'm going to take my dog on WALK. And then I'm going to go study. I don't know how long the library is open for, though. I'm gonna have to look that up. Anyways, to the editing. If I start getting things done, I'll get more motivation. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Motivation for life. Enthusiasm for life. It's like the same thing. Uh, but yeah, I'll have motivation to start getting things done more. Okay. So I've done things. I've done a lot of things. Have I done a lot of things? Oh my gosh, excuse me. I've edited. I've taken my dog on a walk. I've showered, dressed, and made an outfit for tomorrow. And now I must commute. Oh, wait, where is it? Right here. Commute home. Oh, wait. I'm, we're supposed to be looking on this side. I'm commuting. <laughs> I'm feeling anxious. Anyways, <laughs> I need to keep this short and sweet. And then the next clip's gonna be tomorrow because I am still trying to figure out how I'm going to make this vlog thing work for me. I'm anxious. I'm feeling anxious. This is the fit Just leggings, shoes, and a sweatshirt. I'm gonna go to the library and study and probably get a McDonald's pumpkin spice latte. I hope they have them right now. They probably should. Starbucks has theirs. I guess I'll have to find out. Anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm getting things done today. That's all. That was the point. That was the point of filming, to let y'all know, in case you were worried. I don't know why I feel like doing that. Well, I know why I feel like doing that. I'm stressed. I'm late for being early. Uh, I wanted to leave at 11.30 today, but it's now 11.35. And I haven't done anything except for part of my dishes, right? I have decided there's so many dishes in here. It was so overwhelming. I'm going to do it in parts. Just whenever I have the time, I'm going to do... Five, seven, ten dishes, and and eventually I'll have a clean sink every day. Two, uh, I also did my matching quiz assignment online for one of my classes, so that's good. But um, oh, and three, I've reanimated. <laughs> this because it ran out of ink. I have 
markers, right? This is like the same color of this marker, except it needed to be diluted, right? And so I put water in this ink, I took out the stem, I put it in a little bowl, and then I put water in there and put it into this stem with this. And now I have a reanimated highlighter. Um, and uh, oh, I did a pedicure last night and never threw away the water, so I'm gonna do that. But it's really cute. It's Black Hollow Wish is what I decided to put on my feet. I've been wanting to put it on my feet for like two, maybe three weeks. Um, here's a flash of that. And that's all you get because there's some nasties out there. Oh, about that. Armpit check. Um, I say about that because someone posted before I posted, <laughs> like they commented on one of my videos before I posted the video about waxing my armpits, that they love armpits. And I'm thoroughly confused. I'm confused and like a little uh, weirded out. But anyways. The, the update is that that day, it was irritated, it was still a little red, I took a shower at my regular temperature, right, and I came out and my armpits were burning. Okay, I used carbolic soap on it, and that was, and I think maybe a little bit of Bath and Body Works, just in case it needed some sort of moisture. I think the heat of the shower just made it, like, you know? Um... And then I didn't want to put deodorant on it, but I had to go to work, so I put just like one quick swipe of a solid deodorant. It was alright. I took a shower when I got home to get it off and everything, and it was tender. Um, the redness had all gone down and all that jazz. Yesterday, it was still a little bit like, eh, and today it's like... Just a normal armpit. It smells like a normal armpit. Vlog, what the hell? <laughs> Anyways, like I said, I'm running late for being early, so I'm gonna... <sighs> Y'all wanna see what I'm wearing to school today? It's really cute. I'm gonna get ready and then I'll show you Han. I'll be right back. Mm. I just did a whole fit check while I'm Running late being early. Well, actually, what time is it? Okay, I'm running. I'm running. I got five minutes. I got five minutes. <laughs> um, anyways, this is the fit. Cute, right? Um, let's see. I have romper. Turn shorts I got from Shein. I have thrifted locally is a top. It used to have like cute lacy cap sleeves, but this butt here hole right here I decided to take a chunk out of one of them, so I had to cut them. It's, I I think I might need to like finish it somehow. It's not the worst, though. Oh, here's my armpits. They are still mildly red in some parts and still hairy. I don't know if I should shave it or not. Would it irritate it? I don't know. Uh, anyways, and then I have a thrifted jacket right here from uh, Wilmington Goodwill, and it's glittery. Right? So cute. And then Walmart shoes. That's the that's that's the fit. Uh, oh, right. I got some earrings going on. I did put a faux little ring on top. And of course, as always, so mismatched. All the mismatched little bow on top. Flowers matching on the bottom. Uh, yeah. The rest of the day is gonna be pretty. Uh, go 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 go. 
I am unfortunately on academic probation. So during my 40 minute little interval of classes that I have, the little break I have, I have to go to the academic success center and figure out how to sign up for tutoring. That being said, I, I've i got to go. I hope that you have a lovely day wherever you're at. 